Welcome back, everyone, to the Mage Rage for April 2020. I am digging down towards a place where I hope to find some redstone. I'm also grabbing a little bit of extra iron as I go along the way because I may need some in the future. Hmm. And I am avoiding caves because caves usually mean dark places, nasty things spawn, and the nastiest things that tends to spawn are those irritating bees that are plaguing us this month. And when I say bees, I just don't mean ordinary friendly neighborhood bees, but really angry bees that do nasty things like sting you without provocation. And we don't like that, do we? Oh some coal, which is good because I ran out of coal. Hmm. So sometimes when I go after coal, I'm doing it gratuitously as a just-in-case, but this case I really do need it. But I don't need enough in order to risk running into any more bees. I don't need a coal box. It's not like I need huge amounts, but if I smelt this iron that I just made, I'm going to need... How much iron did I eat? Yeah, I know, that'll take one piece of coal. And, of course, I might do that if I decide I will need more redstone. Hmm. But, okay, now I just reached redstone country. So, time to there. Right, so I am yeah, right here, making sure there are. Well, there's lapis. I'm healing the water. I'm healing the lava. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Oh, there's redstone right there. Hmm. Okay, good. Let's see, I've got ten. Actually, that might even be enough, but just in case. I'll grab a little bit of extra. All right, that's because I think I just need it for the redstone block and for the. Ha! Huh, okay, I need it for the redstone block, and I'll need it for the dispenser. Now, trouble is, I'm avoiding mobs due to the troubles with the bees. That's sort of the biggest headache of the whole thing with the bees this month is that. Because I'm avoiding them, I'm also avoiding mobs. And I, and I forgot the other reason why I could use mobs is to get some, ooh, some either some string or a bow, so that I can make a dispenser. That's gonna be the annoying bit. Now let's see what's like outside. Oh, actually, this isn't quite outside. This is. Semi outside. Oh, well, I was doing all this talking about needing coal and all this stuff, and I ignored that. <laughs> yeah, show you how much I was paying attention there. Oh, hello. Well, nothing too. Now I shouldn't be getting too far away from this while I have stuff cooking. All right, she. We want. Well, oh yes, I want to get my redstone block. All right, good. That's that item right there. 
redstone block that leaves. I still need the. It says that that I can get out of here. So I have a feeling it's going to be night pretty soon because that will be my luck on the matter. Oh, I uh, miscalculated that, didn't I? Oh, no. I didn't miscalculate it. All right, good. Now, see what we got here. Up here, we see we've got this. Uh, well, we've got an Enderman out there. Sea pickles. I guess one thing I could do is to see if I see any lights around. I also see bees around. Well, that's going to be a problem. Mm. Uh, yeah, a big problem. A stinging problem. Right, so. What's going to be my plan? <sighs> oh, actually. I do need to risk things so that I could check the ball. All right, let's see. I've got everything in there. All right, I am correct. The only two things I've got left are the bow for that. And either green or lime dye. And that's going to be the tricky bit, isn't it? Okay, so I'll need that. I don't need the diorite. I don't need the clay. Don't need the gravel. I don't need that. I don't need the andesite. I suppose I could just go outside and run like mad. That's usually not my favorite thing to do. But unless I run into an obliging skeleton. Uh, let me go this way just in case there is an obliging skeleton. And of course, uh, Skeletor will also be obliging enough to actually drop a bow when I kill it. They're usually not happy when I kill them, though. Uh huh. Of course, when I thought I saw. Well, does that have to be creepers? All right, they come in from both directions, apparently. <sighs> well, of course, it's now in the middle of the night. We got all sorts of nasty things. I'll see if I can find some water. Uh, I mean, some bigger bits of water than that. I think uh, I need to go south. Yeah. Okay, bees are around. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Yeah. Let's see how far I can get before something kills me. I think I'm going south right now. Right south. Yep. Oh, there's an area I haven't been to before. Actually, that skeleton. No, uh, that's. Unfortunately, that skeleton wasn't alone. So I won't think about doing that at the moment. There, no. Skeletons and spiders, those are the types of things I wouldn't mind seeing at the moment. I mean, spiders would be really nice. That means I can make my own bow. I won't have to worry about killing skeletons. Now, what about out here? Ooh. Now, the nice thing about sea pickle hunting at night is that Let's see. See, pickle hunting at... Oh, I left the thing in there, didn't I? Well, fortunately, I've got this still. So if you hunt sea pickles at night... Ah. Let's see. You, it's, they're easier to spot because they light up the place. All right, good. 
Let me get out of here before the bees start emerging and attacking me. So let's see if I could find a lit spot in the water. So I'm pretty sure that if you cook a sea pickle, you get lime. I also should keep an eye out for certain types of mobs on here, because if a skeleton or a spider is on one of these islands and doesn't have too much support, I mean, we do it. And anything that looks like a bee that's flying around is undesirable support. Let's see. Okay, that's southeast, that's east. And. I don't think I see much in the way of sea pickles, so it may have to go with a desert. Now, okay, and, and intermen are also bad news. That's you look the wrong way when there's an intermen in the area, and you get into trouble. No. Bees, oh, those bees are so annoying. All right, there's a desert temple, which means that we're in a desert. I know, ah, no, please, not the bees. No, I just found the desert. All right, so now let's see. All right. Uh, okay, so oh, now let's see if I can find a cactus bef and grab it before something kills me. All right, uh, it sounds like I got that. Good. Now, string. You have string. Ah! <laughs> Not <now. laughs> the strings right there. <sighs> well, that was annoying to find it and to well, it looks like at least I got the cactus and that's the main reason I needed to be in that area. And I'm certainly not going to go back to get that piece of string. That Let's see. And I didn't get one from the first one. Well, one piece of string wouldn't be enough anyway. So, yeah. So that means the only thing I need then is string or bow. Well, actually, that desert temple would have been nice to go to because, yeah, desert temples contain treasure. And that treasure, very often, string, I think, is a very common thing to be in there. So... I think I'm going to get into my boat and find that desert temple. It appears that there is this little bit of desert just past the swamp near where you spawn, so that would be that would have been nice to know then, but since I already have the actually down this way. Ooh, how to get to the, the? Let's see. We have a ship here. I don't think ships usually have string though. So I'm going to ignore that and just continue on my way. I am. My S. There's this new thing with the orb, which allows you to set coordinates into it, and it gives you an arrow down in that direction. So I set that just before starting to record again, and I think that the desert will be, the temple will be out in this direction. 
So let's head over across and see if I computed where that temple is properly. Perhaps I found another way to this desert that would have been faster. Hmm. I'm not too sure how reliable these arrows are. Actually, I think I see that. Yeah, there it is, right up there. Okay, good. Now. You can only hope that there is some string in one of those. And that I get in there before some skeleton decides to pop inside. Because as soon as they pop inside and the mobs start going boom. Well, the biggest problem with the mob going boom is if they fall into the pressure plate. Yeah. You don't want mobs falling onto the pressure plate, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, let me make sure that I properly disarm this trap. Okay, okay, now, string, yes. Uh, right, sure, we don't, I know I don't need that. I'll just put this into here, grab the string. Yep. Anything useful in here? Well, the main thing I want, what's more useful than string? Ooh, diamond armor. Well, I don't need the diamond armor. All I need is a nice place to rest and put the stuff together because I think I've got everything I need. All right, now let's see. We have... All right, I want this. Good. I want sticks to make a bow. All right, good. All right, and I'll need a... <laughs> well, that would be ironic to make a chest for this. I don't... <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that. All right, there we go. Now, let's see, I want... Oh, yes, that's for the... That's for the lime. Okay, right now that'll give me green. I've got... I put it in... <laughs> that was a derp move, if I've ever seen one. All right, now... <laughs> I put the, 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 uh, okay, well, I don't need the green... I don't need that anymore. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what did I do with my bone meal? <laughs> uh, lime dye. All right, good. Now we need lime terracotta. Good. And that just leaves a dispenser, which, if I recall correctly, is that plus that plus that dispenser. 106.19. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Ah. <sighs> well. So, yeah, there might have been easier ways to get the string or something, like killing a skeleton or getting a bow or something like that, but getting it from the Desert Temple is good enough on there. Sure, found that. Oh, yeah, these... 
on the other side of this root forest, we have this stretch of desert, which gives me what I want there. And that is it for April 2020. And we'll see you next month where I am hoping there won't be any more of those stupid bees. So I have a feeling there's something else that's going to make me think that I wished I had the bees. And we'll find out, out if that's the case in the next episode of The Mage Rage when we return for May 2020.